everyone, it's Felicity here for Hip Kits. You are um, creating a page with the April kit for 2018. Now I've got something a little bit fun today and I am creating three different backgrounds here just on white cardstock using the color kit. And let me tell you, all three are very different. Now, um, the first one here, I applied to each of the pages a little bit of gesso, um, which you can see. And the reason why I've done that is so that um, the wet mediums don't soak through the page. I've got like a, a barrier to work with. So with the spray here in the stencil, you can see I was just experimenting um, because that's exactly what I do. Um, and then I realized here that I didn't have any paper towel. So I'm going to get paper towel. And there we go. And you can see my lovely green hands. <laughs> so um, I just experiment and you kind of, and I mean, that's what I do with mixed media backgrounds. I just experiment and hope for the best um, because this to me is the absolute fun part. So you can see the first time that I used the spray with the stencil. Um, on the right, it's like really messy. And then on the left, you can see the stencil. So now what I do with the Distress inks, because they're really, really good um, activated with water, you can see I just stamped the stamp straight onto just that plastic packaging and I just sprayed some water on it. Um, and then here you can see then I've used the plastic packaging to press down through the stencil. I hope you're following me here. I probably just need to be quiet and you can watch it, hey? <laughs> um, but yeah that's pretty much you know what I did the other thing you need to bear in mind when you are creating a background with a color kit um, is using colors that blend together because you don't want colors um, that don't because you're going to end up with a very muddy background um, and the great thing about the color kit Kimberly will generally have colors that go really well together so you guys are at absolute advantage by having the color kit because a lot of the hard work's done for you. Um, then what I'm doing here obviously is just splattering paint. Now you need to bear in mind that um, the backgrounds that I create generally get covered up fairly well. Um, that's just how I work. But this background here, I actually then, and you will see right at the end, I've got a photo. I cut this page up and created some tags with the background and the the, um, the kit and they look so pretty. So um, you can see the, the stencil there is really pretty. So that's the great thing about the backgrounds is that you don't just have to use a layer. Um, I chopped it up and they made awesome, awesome tags which you'll see. So here we go again, um, just stamping the colors straight on. You can see the water activates. And then when I put the colors um, together, they make like that orange, like a nice, really nice orange color. Um, and here again, I've got no plans. I kind of was like, mm, let's just stamp it straight, straight on the page. And I did. And I kind of like color blocked it, um, which looked really awesome. So this background here, I'm actually going to be using on another project, um, another layout um, for next week. So make sure you come back. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to see my other project with this. Um, and again, you can see I just mix the colors there and I've got a really nice orange. So it's so pretty. Um, just a really another great way. Um, I mean, and when I look at that background now too, I kind of see it as so many endless possibilities because those squares that I could see, I could hand stitch around them if I wanted to and then create my page. Um, you know, there's just so much that I've seen when I create a background. Um, and that can sometimes be the start of where I put my page together. Um, excuse the noise outside there while I'm doing this voiceover. Guys, I've got children on the veranda being loud. <laughs> so <laughs> excuse the noise there. Um, and then I just used obviously paper towel here to clean up the excess um, as well. So um, now what am I doing? Third background. Okay, and this background is actually the page that I end up using um, to create my layout. Um, and I kind of, with this, I ended up using this stencil as a stamp 
because I had all these um, mediums on there that can be reactivated with water, that's nearly all it needed um, was a little bit of water and they blend together and just, I don't know, I love, love, love how this turned out. I really, really do. There we go. I just got, I used, yeah, used as a stamp, as you can see, I just put that straight into um, what I've got on the plastic sheet. Pressed it down. How awesome is that, guys? Yep, now I use the pink, do exactly the same. I just clean the stencil off. Yep, look at that. And if you have too much um, moisture on it, it will end up um, running more. So just make sure that you don't have, you have more ink, I suppose, than water there. So you can see that looks awesome. And like this is all guys just through playing. Absolutely playing with the color kit. Um, and that's all it is. Just a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Messy hands. Yep, love it. <laughs> and you can see. Um, and then again, see you've got your green and yellow, your yellow together and you've got nice colors mixed in. So it looks pretty cool. Yeah, love, love, love it. As I said, this is a really gentle, subtle background that I build upon. Yeah, and this one here, I think, yeah, I had a bit too much water. I can see it already. It's not quite as clear. Um, but still, when I sponge it off, it looks really, really good. Yeah, love it. So if you aren't even a mixed media person... It doesn't, just remember, it doesn't need to be tricky. It doesn't need to be anything fancy at all. You just grab whatever's in the color kit and just play like I did. Because seriously, I did not have a plan for any of these pages. And now you will see that I start to create the page here. Um, and I will just let you watch very shortly um, the process of putting the page together. But I just used the page, um, the background pretty much as a starting point for my page. So these tiny little flowers I fussy cut out of the paper and placed it on where the stencil was, which created, um, you know, a flower background. Anyway, guys, I will let you just finishing watch, finishing, let you finish watching what I'm doing here. I'll leave links below um, to the hip kits and links to my blog. And if you've got any questions at all, post them below but please just remember when you're creating really really fun backgrounds just to simply have fun that's all you need to do don't think about it and just see where it takes you because you may find that by simply creating um, a fun background can be truly the starting point of a page that you absolutely love and if you don't like the background you created um, make sure you check out the tags at the end of this video of what I created with tags you can do cards as well project life cards it's endless so guys just have fun and tune in next week to see my third page with the background all right guys see you in the next video bye